Hi, I'm at a food bank here in Munich, Germany. Now, it does feel kind of ironic to be here because the standard of living in this city is relatively high. However, that does not mean that those living here are not susceptible to the same sort of economic woes that others in other German cities or European cities are currently facing. For one, rising energy prices is hitting everyone in Germany, is hitting us here in Munich. So is the inflationary prices on simple food items, upwards of 15%. For some items, we're seeing prices increase well over 50%, which basically basically means everyone simply has less disposable income or is rationing uh, what they do have in different ways. And that is changing the faces that we're seeing at food banks like this all across the country. Let's go speak to some of them. There are over 960 food banks across Germany, all of which are seeing a rise in the number of people requesting their donations. According to organizers here, they've seen more registrations in the last six months than over the last two years. All of the food and clothing items are donated to them by grocery stores, individuals and even other food banks. But what worries organizers such as Petra is that despite the increase in the number of people coming to see them, what they can offer them is decreasing. We had uh, donors who were giving money for years to our organization and they were just writing, so sorry, I can't give you any more money. On the contrary, I would just really like to pick up some food because I can't make ends meet. So people who used to be on the other side Donating and helping us are now coming and asking for help. The war in Ukraine has obviously added to the number of people lining up at food banks all across the country. But what's really interesting is the demographic change. There's young people, there's old people, there's middle class people. Uh, there's people from other European countries that we've met uh, here today, from Italy, from Romania, from Poland. It's quite disturbing to see how these economic times uh, are really changing individual lives. We met one gentleman who used to have a high class job, but then COVID-19 struck. He lost that job and now he finds himself here every Friday. And I think what I take away, what's hit me the most about being here is that those tough economic times and those reasons uh, that each person has for being here are not yet over. It'll be very interesting to see who else we meet in these lineups in the weeks and the months ahead. Natalie Carney for CGTN in Munich.